Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Airport lawyer Jay Trickett filed a statement for Thursday's court hearing in opposition to Duty Free's bid to extend a scheduled March trial. Among those documents were allegations of what he called troubling behavior by DFS. We think that it's important that the people of Guam know what really happened here, including uh, the ways that, that DFS uh, manipulated the public uh, and influenced government officials to support them in this, in, in this procurement and in this case improperly. For example, in their review of non-protected documents from DFS, the airport's lawyers alleged that DFS used an elected government official to try to influence the procurement process. They also alleged that former First Lady Joanne Camacho was offered a job with DFS and months before leaked important non-public information to the company. Trickett says there are many more examples of what he calls improper behavior, but most of the documents, he says, continue to be hidden behind a protective order. Trickett argues that the trial should have occurred a long time ago, and until they are vindicated in court, the airport, he says, and its employees will suffer harm. They have continued to work under a cloud of accusations of everything from collusion and fraud to outright criminal conduct that have been made by DFS. Um, but DFS has never presented any evidence that anyone at the airport um, acted wrongly. The trial is expected to be rescheduled for some time in late April or May. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.